man, y'all know we can't do this. <clears throat> man. <clears throat> Gosh, super horse. All right. Y'all know we can't do this without... definitely start off by saying this. I'm done losing. You know? And, you know, fun. It's gonna be fun, but I'm done losing. So, as I as I move forward and continue my coaching, we ain't losing no more. Alright? We're gonna go out here. We're gonna win. Alright? Because I didn't like today. Uh, this team that beat us twice won a championship. And by the way, the championship... It kind of disturbed me a little bit because um, I was under the impression that my team was going to win, you know, and I'm definitely biased. My team going to win because guess what? It's my team. But, you know, I thought we was going to win because of Zoe. But uh, something I learned today is uh <sighs> Sometimes you find yourself in situations where it's a learning experience. And when you encounter these learning experiences, hopefully you learn something from it. And that's what I learned today. You know, I learned that done losing, you know. And when you get to the point where you're done losing, you really, 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 really have to... Train and prepare yourself to not lose. And that, that's what we'll be doing now. Done losing. Gonna go out here, play hard, get scrappy, and, you know, dominate. And if you ain't dominating, why are you doing it? You know, we gotta get to the, the best of the best. And that's how I feel like what's needed, you know, because I just feel like this whole basketball thing is about to go to the next level, you know, with my training, with my plan, everything's going to the next level, you know, and if you're not trying to get to the next level, we'll be doing this for, so that's what we're doing moving forward, you know, just dominating, taking over, being aggressive, you know. And, you know, my daughter missed out on that because of my way of training. I really wanted her to have her training wheels on. And no longer doing that no more. Mm. Man, yeah, I got some bills, dude. When you paying bills, it's real. Nobody wants to pay bills. At all, do they? Who wants to pay bills? Dang somebody. Dang somebody wants to pay bills. Nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody. So, that's what I'm forcing myself to do now. So, I, I'm just definitely going to take this game a little bit more serious. Because um, on the court today... Everybody played well. Everybody had fun. And that's what I preach. I preach everybody having fun. Because the majority of my kids, that was their first time playing. And by it being their first time playing, I really just had to be really receptive to them playing basketball. Because 30 minutes of me teaching you how to play basketball ain't enough. It is not enough time for me to teach you 30 minutes. So this league we in, you know, they do more 30 minutes of training. And it's hard for me to train for 30 minutes realistically because I train for at least an hour minimum, but hour and a half. I try to because what's the point of me teaching you something you don't understand it? So my teaching is based on 
understanding. And by you understanding, you're more set up and prepared to utilize these things. So, I can't get too mad. So, moving forward, that's what we're going to start doing. Doing stuff like that. So, as you come see me, you know, that's what we're doing now. Just doing more, you know, teaching the game, you know. And I, I still have my love for the game. So, I don't, I don't want to sit here like I don't love the game. I still love it. But I just got to do a much better job of getting people prepared and getting people uh, ready to play. Because I don't do a good job at that. So, that's my confessions as a basketball coach, really. I don't get my kids prepared to play. But I sit here and... Well, actually, you know something? I don't say I want to win, actually. I really just say I want to have fun. So, I had one kid today. He shot, man, about 40, 50 shots. And it was really disturbing me because, like, I loved his aggressiveness, but it was like, this is not productive at all. And by it not being productive, what's the point of us doing this, you know? So, that's what I feel like is going to be super critical when I'm uh, training and getting people prepared to play the game. Cause I can get you prepared to play, but you still got to play. But honestly... Me being realistic, I look at you playing and, you know, I better understand I did a good, I did a good job. I did a bad job preparing you and I haven't been getting people prepared like I need to. So that's what's going to be expected of me moving forward. And I'm not, I'm not doing any basketball tomorrow. I'm taking a basketball break. So. With this basketball break I'm taking tomorrow, and get my mind right, cause you know I'm sitting here having these basketball talks. Tennis starts next week, and you know, uh, me doing tennis is going to be one of those things that's going to help me prepare and get everything ready for you know the big picture. You know, the big picture just take over. Take over, dominate. And my name is going to be after as someone who's the best of the best. And in order for me to be the best of the best, I must practice and prepare being better. And by me doing it, it's, it's more eternal, you know. It's not about fun, <laughs> you know. It's not about fun. You're going to have fun. But, you know, my job is to learn the game in a way that I can teach you. So, that's what we'll be doing moving forward. Just doing more learning of the game, teaching of the game. And put it, present it. Present it in a manner that I accomplish both goals of this is fun and I'm getting better developing stuff like that. So that's going to be my thing moving forward. And uh, I'm not I'm not changing my philosophy or nothing. My philosophy is who I am. So don't think don't think I'm about to change my philosophy. But we still gonna. Start putting this work in, you know. And putting this work in is going to put us in position to be definitely more successful. Because I was a little disappointed in Zoe today. And I wasn't disappointed in her play. I was more disappointed in my... Me not her having her prepared for what she was doing. You know. I, I wanted her to dominate. She did really, really well. She's a nine-year-old in, in the fourth grade, going to the fifth. So, with her being in those situations, she tend to be 
like, I wouldn't say underdeveloped, but she's not where the higher percentile of people. She's right where she needs to be at. But for me, it's like, man, I want you to be above. Man, I want you to have an advantage. Man, I want you to be ahead. So, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, complain. I will express myself. I'm not complaining. She she did what she was supposed to do. But I felt like she could have done more. But we always can do more. Because I'm sitting here having this talk about I could do more. So, that's how we're going to operate moving forward. That's how we're going to get down. I'm definitely uh, nervous about what's going to happen next. I know y'all heard me in the background. I'm going to let her come up and watch what she does. All right, y'all. Peace out, holler.